Hey, welcome back to Emo Star Gaming. <clears throat> I wanted to do a video today um, that I was actually kind of curious about myself and, and some of the information I already know um, and some of it we're going to kind of discover here. Um, but I'm sure there's plenty of you that have played this game for quite a bit. And as you get further on to the game, um, you want to get even further, right? You want to go to the next age. Um, there's always clear uh, requirements for that. Um, the first one is going to be um, the, the money. So down here it says, for me, it's uh, $15.5 million in gold. Four workers. Cool. Um, but here on the bottom, you also have an XP requirement. So for me, I have to get to level 220. I have a lot of levels to get to. So this tells me a bunch of things. Uh, a... Even if I had um, enough gold, the fact that my XP level, which is 202 and not 220, tells me that when I get to the next age, if it somehow the game let me do that, I would be way behind. Um, so that's obviously a little concerning. You want to make sure that when you go to the next age, that you're your base is, you know, sufficiently strong to be able to to do well and not just get smashed left and right. So now there's other people, including myself, that have looked at those rush events where you could go to the next era or the next age, sorry, and uh, and did it. I think the game is is uh, the developers are smart. They like to do things like that here and there, um, and that. Is, a, is when you can, uh, I think you still have to have the XP, but let's say I have the 15 million, uh, 15 and a half million, I can go to the next age without having to wait. Because I believe this one, I'd have to wait at least, I think, seven or nine days to get there. So some of these rush events are really cool, kind of gives you a little bit of incentive, a little motivation to, to jump forward. Um, and I really want to go to the uh, space age I've, I've been looking at a lot of space age um cities um and they just look amazing but i've also looked at other people in the cold war age other people in the atomic age wow i have so much to level up so much to level up so half of me wants to skip half of me says you know what take your time level up everything that you have I'm not a maxer, so I don't go in and try to max every little thing until I move on because I, I just don't have the patience for that. I know there's a ton of stuff to do. And I also like to work on things um, that are important to me in the way that uh, my play style is. So there's some things I'm, I'm going to skip or some things that I'm not even going to like pay attention to too much um, versus other things I will. So the main point of this video is to look at what, um, what things gain you XP. So let's say you're me, right? You're at 202, you need to get to 220. What do you need to do to get to that next age? So let's see. I know I'm building a bunch of things, so some things are going to pop up and they're not going to let us see anything because they are um, presently being worked on. So let's start with defensive buildings, and they're all going to follow the same kind of pattern. But let's grab this tower. Let's upgrade here. Automatic. It's the first thing. XP reward, 3,725. Yes, it's going to take a bunch of coins there in seven days, you know. So <laughs> as the game progresses, things take longer, of course, and they're going to take more more bodies too. So that's about 3,000. Um, let's go to this one, the mortar. That's over 4,000. I think that one's a level up a little bit more. They all have different levels, so you can't match like a mortar level five the tower level 10 because you get the the towers before then and they kind of progress at a different rate uh all right let's look at these anti-tank gun 3700 let me see let me click at this all right perfect so this tells me that's my level my experience points uh 2713 out of 21200 so i need about 18 or so more uh, thousand 
to get to 203. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, but I do have these things building here. So let's look at these defensive buildings here. Uh, this one I could... I might actually start this one right now just to get the XP. So it's funny that um, some of these things may not be important. Like, eh, I don't care about these little traps. I much prefer these other things. But if I upgrade these traps, they're also going to give me XP. So there's a nice balance there of how many workers do you have, how much XP do you have, and what things do you have that you can readily upgrade. So right now I can readily upgrade the landmine versus I don't have enough gold to do almost any other defensive building. So you notice that all of these require gold, everything that we've looked at so far. So let's look at the market. The market actually needs food. 2,980. So let's say that the average is about 3,000 for each of these uh, that I've looked at. That's a little higher, but let's say around 3,000. So I would need six, six of these buildings upgraded uh, to get to 203. And then you magnify that for another bunch of levels and yeah. Um, but they do increase though. So you go from like a level five to a level six, you get a certain amount of XP. Then as you go over to level six, level seven, that XP increases. So everything does increase as you go. So it's not like a flat rate, which is nice. Uh, let's look at the farms. Farms also are gold. 3,245. Four days. So that's the second thing to look at is how much XP are you getting and how long is the upgrade going to take? You know, some people don't really level up their farms all that much. They kind of leave it for later on because they do a ton of fighting and they get all their resources that way. They get resources other ways. So the farms and then like the gold uh, storage and, and things like that. Um, some people don't really focus on them too much. They say get them to a certain level and then start focusing on your um, attacking and, and income that way. Um, but if you look at it this way, XP 3245, only four days. We saw some other ones that are going to be closer to like seven days. So that's going to eat, that's going to shorten the time by about three days. It's not bad. All right. This one I was working on earlier. So these are the barracks. Um, yep, they're expensive, but look at the XP reward, over 4,000. So this is guaranteed 4,700. Uh, let's look at the other one. Sorry, this one's a little higher up, 4,900. So if we rounded them all up to 5,000, which is not, um, three of those is already 15. And then you start working on some landmines. Um, you're really close to what we were talking about before. Uh, hold on, let me, I need to look at that. Eight days. All right, so that's eight days. This one's, oops, a little bit more leveled up. Uh, okay, so I maxed for this era. So that's actually not bad. That's good to know that I'm maxed. Um, so that's another thing, actually, to, good to know and good to look at is look at the wiki and look at the Domination's website to see um, what is the max for each building in the current uh, age that you're in. Um, cause it might actually not be as far away as you think, or, you know, if something only has one more level to go and something has four, it kind of gives you an idea of like what you might want to focus on, you know? So let's see, let's look at something else. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to look at was the university. So it's obviously a bunch of stuff in here. So let's just click on one of them. Let's click on this one. Let's jump over here. I'm sure you're noticing what I'm noticing, but I'm just clicking around. No XP boost. Right? Because these are all enhancing what your nation does, but it doesn't enhance anything. It's not adding anything to it. Now, uh, we might have to click into this one because Through the Ages already has two books going, so I don't know if it's going to let me see anything. Uh, no, it's not going to let me see anything in here either. So, yeah. So the other reason I've, I'm working on some of these in here, even though some of these aren't super important to me, but this one I really like, Chapter 4, so I'm working on that one, trade a third general using oil. And then reduce uh, oil training costs. So that's cool. I really like this one, the command. 
uh, things in the library do give you XP. And they don't use workers. So it's like a double plus. So that's why I always say, like, don't forget about the library, even though you're doing tons of stuff in the university um, that are a little bit more maybe if directly effective uh, in the university. You can really pinpoint what the benefits are. Library is a little bit more general. Um, definitely don't forget about those. Uh, the other thing, which is probably not going to show in here, um, but let me click. Yeah. So anytime you upgrade any of your troops, and this is like a, a big source of XP, and a lot of people really focus on this because they use so many troops on the daily. You have your favorites. You have yours that you're like, oh, I have to level this up. I have to level that up. Every single one of these updates will get you uh, XP rewards. So let's look at one that's pretty leveled up. Uh, I don't think I leveled many of these up. Yeah, so a lot of these are like around 2,000. 2,000. Uh, and then the time on these, you're going to see most of them are going to be right around seven days. The ones that are leveled up a little bit are going to be even even further. Um, really excited to get the heavy attack helicopters to come out so I can start maybe doing like a combo with them. Um, so those will definitely get your XP and where I am, like those are hovering around like 2000. Uh, let's see, we already looked at all the defensive buildings pretty much. So there's not much else to do there. Um, I mean, if you upgrade these, uh, the airstrip, and the factories are going to cost oil, so just be mindful of the oil there. Um, a lot of XP, 3,900. That's the one that's more leveled up. This one's more leveled up as well, so 4,750. <clears throat> and then, let's see. Since those are food-based, they're going to cost gold. Um, the gold ones are going to be food. Um, but yeah, plenty of XP. So there's a ton of different things to do. Um, I haven't actually, let's look at this too. Upgrading some of these buildings as well are going to give you XP. So if you're leveling that up or the War Academy, which costs food, you level that up, that's going to give you XP. And mine is not very leveled up. Sometimes I forget about it. If you're leveling up the vault, that gives you XP. You leveling up the university, that gives you XP. You level up the um, library. Oh, that's really cool. That gives you XP. <clears throat> so a lot of stuff gives you XP. Let me, where do I? If you level up the road, that gives you XP. The road is actually a pretty big one because that gives you 30 XP. Um... Pretty sure that was 30 XP per tile. So that can that can level up super fast. Um, I don't want to click one of these, but let's see. So I could complete that one for zero. So let's do that. Um, no XP leveling up the walls, though. So something to be mindful of. What about the gates? No XP for leveling up the gates. Uh, oh, we didn't look at the this resource. So that is gold. Yes, that will also give you XP. So it looks like about 85% of things that are here are going to give you XP. Houses you don't upgrade because they're just going to be there. Uh, you can upgrade all of these like barbed wires and things like that. You can upgrade the bastions. Notice there's no XP on the bastions. Um, good to know. Let's see the surface to air missile. Where is it? Oops. Right there. That gives you XP. So you can kind of start doing the math. Like some of the stuff is going to be really low thousands. Um, smaller things are going to be about 2,000 or so. A lot of the actual buildings themselves that you can level up are going to be somewhere in the two to three thousands. And then um, your defensive structures the ones that are fairly leveled up are going to be even more. So, yep, I'm going to probably need, let's see, 20 and then times 6. 
Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a lot of updates, upgrades. Um, but luckily, we have a ton of people. So if I'm doing in a span of like two days, two, three days, I'm probably upgrading like, I don't know, six to ten different things. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't even do the math because there are some things only cost like two days. Some are four, some are six or seven. There's a ton of speed ups, which is really nice that they've helped us a lot with speed ups. Um, I don't know. It would be hard to gauge how quickly you can uh, you can level up, you know, without spending crowns and things like that. But um, but there's plenty to do, and there's definitely some things that are going to be worth a lot more. And yeah, ton of ways to get XP. So there's never a shortage of ways to get XP. Um, so that's all I wanted to look at real quick is just show you, uh, what things get you XP and what things don't, uh, cause it does matter. You know, if you, if you're eager like me to get to the next age, start picking apart all those things that are going to give you XP so you can get there. Um, and then that whole race starts all over again when you get to the next age, cause you're like, Ooh, I want to level up even more and, and, and find out about the next age after that. But uh, with my base, I am very, very far behind. I've seen other people in the Cold War age uh, that are level like 260, 270. So I have a ton of work to do. Um, should not have left the game when I did and um, kept plugging away because there's still so much more I can do. Like even the, even the, the fort, I mean, that I just upgraded fairly recently. But if I upgrade it again, I'm going to get Churchill, which is awesome. And that's 6,000 XP. And I could almost do that now. I think I need just a little bit more oil. But ah, that'd be a really big boost for me. Plus, you know, all the benefits that you get from it. But yeah, these ones are going to give you a bunch too. Wow. Yeah, see, I'm so far behind with these. I got I to gotta start working on these. And one day, 14 hours is no brainer. No brainer at all. So I can probably start doing some of these garrisons. Wow. Yeah. So be mindful of the times. Might make more sense to build two different things in a span of eight days than one building for that span. That gives you less XP. So anyways, uh, like I said, I just wanted to share XP, XP, XP. If you want to move along the game, get to the next eras, it really is all about XP. The income and everything you're going to be able to find and get fairly easily. XP is where you want to make sure you continue working on that. You know, don't don't sit still. Don't let your little workers just sit around doing nothing. Have them working, working, working all the time. It'll benefit you in gameplay, but it'll also benefit you when you get to that point where you do want to go to the next stage. Um, you're basically going to be ready whenever you want.